Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rider Ramblings. Today I thought I'd do a quick first ride review of the Shoei Neotech 2, which I bought about a week ago. So I wore it for a total of six hours yesterday. Three hours in one direction, three hours in the opposite direction. It is new, so therefore it is a, a bit tight, um, but that's what it's supposed to be. It was comfortable, except for my left ear. For some reason, my left ear uh, was compressed a bit by it. I haven't found out why, but uh, I need to, to look and, uh, and see why. Uh, ventilation was good. I enjoyed the ventilation. It was uh, up to scratch. The helmet seems to be of good quality and well made. Uh, it does. The sun visor works well and it has a pin lock. Now unfortunately the pin lock when you have the visor just cracked open actually uh, interferes with your view when you're looking down at the instruments it seems to draw a line virtually across that's because it's actually quite a a thick um, quite quite thick the pin lock um, seal on it i've got a pin lock on this one this is the schuber uh, this is the schuber i'm wearing at the moment and the pin lock is, um, the seal on it is thinner, so there doesn't seem to be as much of a, a blockage. I'm looking through it at the moment. Uh, there doesn't seem to be quite as much of a, a blockage. Um, this looks like a bit of a bun fight, never mind. Uh, talking about the visor, the tab to open the visor is just on the left hand side. And that is a problem, because if you're stopped uh, for some reason and holding the clutch, then trying to reach across with your right hand is a bit of a, an interesting experience. So, um, they should have really put it on both sides, but I imagine that somebody in authority said, no, only one side, and so everybody said, yes sir, yes sir. And uh, it is a mistake, because it does make life more difficult. Uh, so the pin lock, it works well, but it has uh, this, um, as I say, this thick band that uh, does interfere when looking down at the instruments. Uh, now, let's get to the big problem. Uh, because there is a big problem, and that is the noise. It is noisy. There is a lot of wind noise. If you've worn a shoe berth, then you'll know that the shoe berth is very quiet. Um, for a modular helmet, it's exceptionally quiet. Um, but the showy, there is quite a lot of wind noise. Um, enough so that it actually interferes with the volume of the the radio the the radio thinks you're talking and so lowers the volume once you get to about sort of 50 miles an hour 70 kilometers an hour that type of thing so that is a huge problem now you actually have to tell the software not to do that um, you have to you have to go into I think it's the mesh management or the intercom management or something like that and actually tell it not to do it. Now I have changed that setting but I haven't been able to test it. So that's the big thing. Now as I say I wore it for three hours one way, had a about a 40 minute break uh, while I had lunch and three hours the next way. The temperature was a about 24 to 26 degrees. It was very comfortable um, and um, 
it wasn't too hot it was it was fine I, I, I'm quite happy with it it's quite light as well um, as I say I have the integral um, Senna SRL mesh system on it and I tested the radio and the volume when you can hear it is very good which is basically when you're stationary anything more than um, about 50 as I say about 50 miles an hour and you um, you can't hear anything the radio just doesn't work really is a bit of a pain um, so yes so if you're in the market for a new helmet and you're looking at the showy Neotech 2 I would say go for the Schuberth C3 Pro it's at least 200 euros 200 dollars and about 200 pounds cheaper it is quieter it has the same level of comfort same level of ventilation uh, the pen lock, pin lock isn't as um, isn't as obtrusive and you have a tab on both sides of the visor so you could open it so there are three excellent reasons to go for the well four if you include the price being about 200 quid cheaper uh, there or thereabouts than the showy so that's my take on it yeah um, it's a nice helmet don't get me wrong it is a nice helmet I think I've solved the problem with the radio uh, I don't know um, because I haven't tested it since I changed the settings but um, it's a nice helmet it's lovely and light it, as I say it's comfortable I had it on my head for three hours um, and that's a brand new helmet I mean we're, we're talking you know that's basically apart from wearing it in the shop um, that that's the first time I, I'd worn it for any anything longer than five minutes and uh, yes I did have hamster cheeks but that's what you get with uh, a new helmet you get hamster cheeks um, that will of course uh, relax a bit over the next few years um, okay so that's my take on it if uh, I will repeat that the Schuber C3 Pro, which is still in production, you can still buy it. It's designed as a touring helmet. Uh, it's about 300 quid, 300 euros, thereabouts, uh, $300 um, without uh, a comms system. And uh, it is better. It's as simple as that. I'm wearing a C3 Pro at the moment and it's very quiet much it's quiet much quieter than the than the showy uh, even at these speeds um, okay so as you can see it's sort of a a bit cloudy it started off as a beautiful day it really did uh, absolutely cracking the sunshine and uh, fantastic day but it's uh, sort of clouded over a bit but uh, I must admit the weather forecast did say it was going to do that so very nice Maserati mm -hmm. okay so please like share comment and subscribe if you have a showy uh, I'd like to hear showy Neotec too I'd like to hear your thoughts on that as I say especially if you've had both the Schuberth I uh, imagine the Schuberth C5 is a uh, is going to 
really give Shoei a bit of a run for its money because if it's as good as they say it is, it's going to be substantially better than the Shoei, not just a little bit sh better. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.